Hey up, how are you doing? Welcome back. So, I'm getting set up for a brew day tomorrow and I thought I'd just have a, a drink while I'm setting up. And this is a beer you've not seen from me yet. I didn't get any brew day footage, but I did mention it quickly on a video. Before Christmas, I did a brew day back to back, two separate days. I brewed a bitter, but I didn't get any brew footage. Let's have a look at the pour. So here's the beer in the glass. It's a brownie, a reddy colour, a little, little head. It's not massive. It doesn't stick around forever. Lightly carbonated. I'm going to wet my whistle. We'll have a little look at the recipe, shall we? So as I said, we're getting set up for a boo day tomorrow, so we're in a bit of a mess, but that's fine. I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a look at the ingredients, shall we? We've got four kilograms of Marisotta. We've got 200 grams of crystal. Okay, he's medium crystal in this. I've got 200 grams of flaked oats. We've got 42 grams of chocolate malt. We'll talk about chocolate malt in a minute. We've got 30 grams of magnum at the start of a 40 minute boil. We used Cross My Loof Real Ale Yeast. As you say, that head is, it could be the glass to be fair. The, the pro, it's dependent, isn't it? There's some carbonation in there because it's the first drink of the night. I've only had that much. So yes, carbonation is, I mean, the head is sometimes relevant to glasses. I pull this one out of the cupboard now and again. It's a bit heavy and it is a traditional old pint pot. It's a real one. So I only pull it out of the cupboard really now and again to do a video on a traditional beer. Let's have a look at a few. Fun bags, we brew a bit richer. Yeah. Are you ready? Come on then. You're gonna know some of these, I know, but it's a bit of fun in it. A bitter is an English style of pale ale that varies in colour from gold to dark amber. Strength is typically 3% to 5.5% of the ABV, but obviously the ESB, extra special bitter, comes in a bit high, doesn't it? The term bitter has been used in England to describe pale ale since the early 19th century. People would ask for a bitter at a public house to differentiate, di differentiate <laughs> it from a mild ale, from a mild basically. By the end of the 19th century, brewers had become used to this term, so they took it on and named their beers that. During the 20th century, it was the most popular draft beer sold in British pubs. In Scotland, it's known as either a light or a heavy, depending on the strength. As we know now, the style is massively diverse. 
here we go look it smells malty this is a light one so i'm talking about the chocolate malt now some of my other bitters that i've done before i mean i've done all sorts we'll talk about this in a sec but when i first did started doing bitters i used to put much more chocolate malt in and um i found it a bit too chocolatey for my taste and you know i'm drinking most of it to be fair i started dropping it off a bit and it brought the malts through a bit more and it was absolutely better for my palate so this is good so this is as i say it's the right color it's brown to ready and it absolutely looks the part it's that malty we're about malt on this one aren't we it's malty it's a bit bready it's a bit a bit biscuity as it should be it's got some light fruit flavour. The bitterness on this, I didn't put it into brew fire or anything. I've just written it down. Two brews in two days. I was just like, oh, I, I didn't, I'm getting ready for Christmas. I didn't have time to muck about, to be fair. So the bitterness, I don't know what the IBUs or EBCs or anything like that is. But it's like just nice and steady. It's quite a smooth, light flavoured bitter. It's an easy drinking, lovely, quaffable, anytime have a couple of these lovely job lightly fruity from that yeast lightly bitter sort of generally on the back end malty bready biscuity it's it's a bitter as it should this is probably the the, the general normal bitter is probably one of the one of the better ones I've liked. Now I've got this chocolate. I've got the chocolate malt about right for my taste. So so we're about right now. I've brewed a few different types of bitter. I've done. I did a citra bitter. I did a a mosaic bitter. I think that was my bitter Harry. The coronation bitter had mosaic in it. I've done an ESB. I've done. A Scottish 80 shilling. That was lovely. I need to do that again. That was, being, that was one of my really, really, really early videos that was. I really enjoyed that. I really must rebrew. Rebrew that. But I think definitely my favourite, favourite bitter of my recipe that I've done has got to be the citra bitter. I might re-address that, I might re-brew that and put a bit more citra in it because I really enjoyed that. Probably not completely true to style, too fruity, but it was really nice. I really enjoyed that. Mosaic, not quite so much. I like mosaic and citra together, lovely. I don't know if I've ever used mosaic on its own before. Um, it, it was all right, it was lovely, it was lovely. It was just a bit harsher, a little bit harsher than the citra. Citra was lovely. Citra, that citra bitter. But again, that Scottish 80 shilling I can remember was absolutely beautiful. And that's quite a while since I brewed that. Long, long while. Uh, so it's well early on in my videos now. This has got generally some fruitiness. And like I say, I think it comes from the yeast, doesn't it? Really nice. I like a little bitter on now and again. So like this is really proper chuggable. What did it come in at? It came in at 4.7% of the ABV. Did I write down what it was? So it started at 1.045 and finished at 1.009. Perfect. Nice little ABV. Nice little smooth with a bit fruitiness. It's not too much bitter. Maybe we just need a little bit more bitterness in there. This is a problem when I'm just, I'm changing recipes as I go along to see what I like. But that's okay. And then you find one and you tick it and you go, that's that. I'll have some of that. We're close. We are really close. If I add a little bit more bitterness in that, I think we'd be about right. I think I've sorted my chocolateness out. There's just a little bit on the back end there, just a little bit. I can just taste it, but I think I'm really sensitive to chocolate malt. I can really taste it. 
So this is about right for me. I'm like, so you can see I'm enjoying it. Look at that. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's good. Gives a nice bit of lacing, doesn't it? Yeah. Martha's Grandy likes a bitter, so I like to just have all that he likes. He likes all my beers, to be fair. But I like to, I did this one for Christmas for him. He came over Christmas. So, I don't know if I got, I've got to be honest with you. I don't think I got this on for Christmas. I think we were slower drinking it than what we should have been. The other, the, the tap that was ready to go. I can't remember what I had on there. Did I have the Rye IPA, which was, oh, I'll tell you what, big fan of that. That recipe's got a massive tick next to it. What was it? It was a Rye IPA of some sort. It was beautiful. It's all written down, we're all right. Yeah, a winner, winner. Bitter chicken dinner. That is perfecto. Lovely job. That'll do nicely. I think I will write that down as nearly there. <coughs> a little bit more bitter. I'm probably going to use a different bittering up. I might put it into into one of the calculators and just work it out a bit better next time and just try and we're close. We are very close. Or are we ever there? Are we over there? I don't know. I'm liking this one. I'm liking it a lot. It wasn't pressure fermented. Like I say, I had two, two brews on at the same time, so this one got the bucket. It's a lovely colour. There's absolutely no off smells. No off flavours. It's exactly what it should be. Like, if I went in and got a bitter, I mean, in Lincolnshire here, we've got Batemans who do some great bitters. There's lots and lots of bitters all over, isn't there? And uh, they all have different qualities, different characters. And this one is very, very, very nice. I like it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.